Hello, um, so I'm pretty sure everybody here has at least played video games once, and um, I'm pretty sure everybody kind of likes them, or at least most of us do. Um, I've played violent video games for like, I don't know, since I was like 13, and I didn't really fit into the rated M category, or people who were like supposed to play it at like a mature age. Um, I didn't really take it too seriously, I just did it for fun. And now that I play these games, it seems like a lot of little kids playing them, and they're really violent. They, like, you kill them, and then they're like telling you, like, um, excuse my language, like, fuck off or something. And um, I don't know, they're really mad, and they get really violent. So today I'll be talking about violent video games and how they are sometimes related to social. So, I'll do this like first, like stating the problem, which is video games wrongly blamed for school shootings, and video games are not meant for children. Well, violent video games are not meant for children. Um, the causes are that video games are um, played by little kids, and this causes uh, serious psychological ills to, to kids. And exposure to violent events can sometimes cause the children to be violent. Uh, and then before finally talking about solutions, which are parents should refuse to buy their children um, these games because they're not meant for them, and violent video games should not, uh, or should have a warning label. Okay. So, the problem. According to Dr. Anderson from the Iowa State University, none of these extreme acts like a school shooting occurs because of only one risk factor. There are many risk factors including feeling socially isolated, being bullied, and so on. So violent video games are often used by children. Um, like me, personally, I would never think of shooting a school, and I'm pretty sure nobody else here would. Um, the kids that actually end up doing this, research shows that um, they have serious psychological ills. Um, and there's really no evidence to show that video games are connected to the shooting besides the kids actually playing video games. But um, I forgot, I don't have the source here with me, but it said that um, 90% of people have played video games. It's really common for somebody to play video games. So it's just by finding the video games in the shooter's house, it does not mean that that contributes to the shooting. Um, um, the cause. Well, most of the kids that shot up schools were either bullied by peers or their family, or they went through traumatizing events in their life. Um, according to the NBC Nightly News, written by Subrata D, talks about how shooting in a uh, shooting in the Red Lake, Minnesota, the shooter was a child that had gone through a traumatizing event. His father had committed suicide, and his mother was moved to an asylum. So this um, traumatizing events like this could cause, at a developing age in the children, to cause developmental issues, um, which is why when they are exposed to violent video games, such as well, I don't know, Call of Duty or whatever, um, they tend to act um, violent, which is why you would always see like little kids like trash talking or like cussing a lot. Um, so the solutions are that parents should stop violent, uh, stop violence at their households. They should stop um, buying video games for their kids because they are not meant for them. They are rated M for a reason. Um, parents should research before buying. I know like when I wanted to buy, or when I wanted the new Call of Duty, and I wasn't old enough to get it, um, my dad would buy it for me, he would go and i give him the money, and then you just buy it, because you're not allowed to. They, if you go in there and you're underage, they just won't let you buy them. Um, 
And even when your parents buy them and you're with them, they ask you if it's okay for you to play it. But I feel like they don't really inform you. They just tell you like it's violent and that's it. I feel like they should um, explain more of the psychological ills that um, violent video, game, video games has on um, children. And the government could, could pass a law that every video game should have a warning label or at least like a warning screen, screen before uh, the video game starts, which could um, um, decrease the the chance that children could go to school. Um, so yeah. So violent video games are not the reason to show schools children who do this mostly have gone through through um, traumatizing events and. Yeah, so today I talked about uh, violent video games connected to um, school shootings. My first um, talking about the problem, then the cost and the solution. Thank you.